YouTube, how's it going? I got a really interesting talk for you guys today. We're going to be specifically talking about data, right? The importance of data, why it's important for you as a music producer, as a rapper, as a singer, as a songwriter, how it will help your business grow, how other companies are using your data, you know, to benefit and create products that are specifically targeted towards you. And, you know, why it's something that we all should be talking about. We hear about it a lot, especially on the news, specifically Mark Zuckerberg and the whole Facebook data breach. We've also heard about data breaches during the presidential campaign, our last presidential campaign with Russia. Um, you know, it's something that we should all be paying attention to. It's really important. It's something that's really valuable to all of us. You know, every time you visit a website, every time you buy something, every time you like, comment, post something on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you know, all of that information is being recorded on a database, on an online database, and companies, data brokerage companies, are using that information, they're using that data, and they're selling it to corporations and other big companies so that these corporations and big companies can do market research and so that they can also create products and services that are specifically targeted towards you. Now, this is something that I highly recommend, you know, whatever business that it is that you're in, whether you're a music producer like me, and a little bit of background on me is, you know, I'm a rap music producer. I've been producing for about eight, nine years. I started out as an intern for Sean P. Diddy Combs, working at his recording studio in Manhattan. And I also have my own social media marketing agency where I do social media marketing on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for small businesses and entrepreneurs. But what I want to specifically talk about is really the importance of studying the data, right? So if you're running campaigns, if you're running marketing campaigns on Facebook, if you're running marketing campaigns on Instagram, it's really important to know what all the information means. Now, I'm going to have a part two to this video and where I go into specifically the analytics and, ex and walk you through exactly what everything means. But this is just going to be a really quick and short video on why it's important. So data is pretty much the way that the world works nowadays, right? So whether you're a company, whether you're an organization, everyone spends their time online, on their phones, sending information, making purchases online. I mean, digital activity has been increasing tremendously within the past few years. Everything is almost done through our smartphones and through a laptop, right? So it's really important to understand that, the, you know, where everyone is going, where the trends are going, where the eyes are going, where the opportunities are and where the information is, because now it's all about what information you have. Before, you know, you could have pretty much marketed and promoted a product on, on the television, over radio, and it pretty much would have been a success. I mean, you know, I'm talking about from the 80s, the 70s, 80s, and 90s. But now, there's so much competition that, you know, you having specific access to specific information, specific data, consumer buying habits, consumer behavior, that's what's really gonna give you the edge in this new modern economy, right? So it's really important that, like I said again, you, you take from what these other companies are doing. Look at companies like American Airlines. They have customer loyalty pro programs. Another company like Caesars Palace Hotel, in Las Vegas, they have loyalty programs. They sometimes, you know, some of these hotels know exactly when, I mean, know exactly where their consumer is uh, when they're in Las Vegas. They know exactly what slot machine they're on. Then they know exactly, you know, where they just purchased a meal. So it's, it's really, you know, this whole idea and this concept of data, although I feel eventually, you know, there's gonna be some sort of regulation to prevent it from being so widespread and open to anybody, um, right now, it's kind of like the wild, wild west, and it's really important for you as a business owner to pay attention to that because there are opportunities available. You know, whether you're a fan of big data, whether you're against big data, it's it, you know you can't deny that there are opportunities available for business owners specifically. You know, those who know how to use this information correctly to benefit. And um, you know, I highly encourage you guys to get this book. Um, this is really kind of just like a book of the day video, and I highly encourage you guys to get this book called what stays in Vegas and it's so interesting because you know we always heard the the quote what stays what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas right well with all the surveillance with all the technology with all the you know information that these companies have on the people visiting what happens in Vegas is pretty much available ever to everyone so um again get that book I really encourage you guys to get it Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Drop a comment. Let me know, you know what you think about it. And if you're interested in me going into that part two of this video where I go through the steps on how to break down, you know, Facebook analytics, Instagram analytics, Twitter analytics for your business. If you're a rapper, producer, singer, songwriter or an entrepreneur that's just starting a business. So, again, thank you. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and drop a comment.